हेलो व्यूअर्स होप यू आर गुड एंड लाइकिंग आर वीडियोस सो इन आर अर्लियर क्लास वी लर्न आई एस यू बेसिक्स सेटिंग ऑफ मास्टर डेटा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नॉलेज एक्सेट्रा एंड दिस क्लास इज गोइंग टू बी इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ आर प्रीवियस क्लास वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मीटर रीडिंग यूनिट डिवाइस मैनेजमेंट मीटर रीडिंग ऑर्डर विथ सम रियल टाइम प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम Let's directly jump to the class. Thank you. Okay, so let's uh, see how it is linked to the street route. As we discuss in SAP houses, we see a uh, uh, road in front of that. Now, if you consider multiple SAP houses. so they are linked to a single meter reading unit so a single meter reading unit holds multiple houses in that and those houses are allocated through the street route so, and street route is identified through the device location sorry through the uh, street connection object and the device we allocated through the device location and device so meter reading unit linked to the city district that link to your street street link to your connection object that is your house connection object link to your device location that is inside your house and at the device location you have the device so that's how the master record linked to the house right now in a city there may be multiple portions there may be multiple mrus so you can see this diagram a b c you have three portions portion a portion b and portion c which holds multiple mrus okay and you can observe that there would be uh, you can see these red colors okay okay yeah. so these red colors which are not uh, means uh, one of the red color is not in c but that is part of portion c that means portion is a logical stuff whereas mru is a physical stuff are you getting my point so that means this red area which is under a that is linked to portion c okay, okay? that means we can allocate a different mru which is geographically uh, ahead or somewhere far distance we can allocate that to a portion which are logically linked to any other mrus but there is a catch if you create a mru without geographical identification it is difficult to link the street route because the street route is directly linked to your geography whereas the portion is a logical stuff that's how we can link any mru to any portions okay now how these all these scheduling portions mru are linked now if you understand that the portion is a logical entity which is responsible for billing but when we say billing that means it need also the budget billing now budget billing directly linked to your parameter records what is a parameter record it's a logical entity which holds the budget billing details okay mostly the budget billing dates okay so that means without parameter records we can't create a portion parameter records holds the scheduling for the budget billing so that's how we need to create parameter record first which link to the portion portion link to mru and these both are linked to the scheduling records now the scheduling records actually linking mru and portion to generate the meter reading dates and for the billing dates if there is a budget billing in between then the parameter record come into picture and they link inter in between and link to the budget billing dates right so when we are going for the practical we will create first the parameter records then the portion then the mrus and then we create the scheduling for them so mostly the scheduling records are useful for the periodic billing what is periodic billing and what is non periodic billing periodic billing is like which is have a frequency which is have a constant frequency like if i say monthly periodic billing that means every month there would be a bill generated that means it need every month meter reading as well so the meter reading order need to be created so that means that need to be linked to a schedule so all these meter reading order creation period 
periodic billing and budget billing collection is linked to your scheduling. So if we understand the basics of meter to cash that based on our scheduling. So the scheduling actually provide a date on which date we need to create a meter reading. And once the meter reading order created, the SBM team go to this site and they get all the meter reading. Then we upload that meter reading into the system and that meter reading go to your uh, centralized system, which is SAP system. And that SAP system will validate those details. Okay. And if there is any error, they correct them. And once the correction is done, they go for the billing and the bill process will start. Okay. Now, these are very manual in nature. So if we put something like RF meters, which will capture the meter reading directly from the site, or if we put something like smart meters, so you don't have this SBM and meter reading orders, but you need to create the meter reading order. Once you create the meter reading order, the server will be allow the meter reading to come and sit on these tables. Okay, and those things can be come from like you mentioned MDM, or they come from through RF or through from smart meters. Okay, and that is once available, we can do the validation, corrections and generation of the bill. Okay, so now if you remap again everything. So this is meter reading uh, unit A, which is linked with city district one. Okay, and that holds a street, that holds a connection object, that holds a device location, that holds a device. Okay, and the whole stuff is integrated to create a meter reading order. Right? Yeah. Okay, but that much. So let's go and do practicals and create parameter records portion MRUs. Okay. Now here in the EG access, you can go to the utility industry. Go to utility industry, scheduling. Below scheduling, you have parameter records. Click on the parameter records, create the parameter records. Just give a name, Pritam parameter. Pritam. I'm just giving Pritam as a parameter record, enter. Now you need to put a description. Okay. So the parameter record is created. This name is Pritam. So what is the next? Next is we need to create a, we need to create por uh, portion, okay create portion now enter okay sorry i need to give a portion name portion name is also pritam press enter now once we create the portion you have to give the parameter record here so what is the parameter record we have same name pritam Okay, so now we need to give a description. Okay, now end billing period. Now here you need to provide the dates, dates of allocation. So I'm giving the first of um, October, 2022, okay, now, what would be deferral billing allocation date? Now here also I'm giving 1st of October. Okay, I'm not giving any differentiation, but if you want, you can give the differentiation. The month, what is the period of a month? One month, bi-monthly, one month, because I gave only one month details. How many grace periods you can give? At least two because Saturday Sundays are holidays or you can give any period for grace period. So now, as I mentioned, uh, these are the global settings. So for India, we have a Indian factory calendar. 
So I call IN. Okay, IN for India. So the factory calendar is different for different countries for different organizations because factory calendar holds the holiday list and that's how it is different for every place. Finally, the billing cycle, budget billing cycle. So I'm just giving zero, zero because I'm not allocating any budget billing plan here. So zero, zero, so place save. It is saying you cannot enter a day as a period length. Okay. So how much I can put one? No, still it is throwing the error. So days would be 30 days, one month save. It's still not days of period. You cannot enter days of period length. Okay, let's see what is the error. You have a specified period length in months. You are therefore not required to enter the number of days. Okay, great. So it is saying that it should not be given any dates here because I am already defined here month. So press save. So now your portion is created. Person name is Pritam. Let's go to check our MRU. So MRU is created. MRU name is Pritam. So let's go to our installation. 280 was our installation and one of our parameter for installation we created and that we need to apply here. So MRU each. Them. So it is not allowing. Why it is not allowing? Because we created a meteorating order for this period. Okay. So what I need to do, I need to reverse this meteorating order. So to reverse the meteorating order, the T code is EL37. So what is our installation? 280. Okay. Select this and reverse. Will it allow? I don't think so, but still we'll try. Yes. Now you can see we created a uh, MRU and we applied that MRU at the installation, but we are not yet scheduled that. Schedule means the allocation of the date is not yet done. Okay, so schedule record. To do the scheduling of the record, okay, open. So there are multiple options. I'm going with the portion on meter units. Okay. So you can see Pritam is the portion and meter reading units is also Pritam. And I started that from 1st of January, 2012 to 31st of 12, 23, one year, two years. Okay. Just click here. So it is saying 15 scheduled records have been created, but without budget billing dates because we didn't allow any budget billing there, right? So that is done. Similarly, go here, execute. 15 schedule records created. Now, if we go EL01, okay, go for the order creation. You can see 15 records are there from the October to 1st of December. Yeah, so your scheduling is created for your meter reading unit and portion. Okay, now create a order. Now you can see meter reading order slash billing order created for installation 280, right? So if you go to the installation again, you can see the meter reading order now. Okay. So if you like liking our efforts, if you think that we are making good videos, informational videos, 
then please do like subscribe share and press the bell icon here thank you how to enter the uh, so now this is red order cannot be built why it is not built because we are not able to enter any data so we need to enter the data <clears throat> So to enter the single entry data, we need to go to EL28, okay? And meter reading type would be 01. Okay, press enter. Here you can enter the data. Let it be I enter five. So at the top, you can see correct release without correction and estimate. There are three options. So if I save here, it is throwing the error that <clears throat> the consumption exceeded from the maximum tolerance limit. That means whatever the estimated consumption, it is more than that. But if I select it and estimate it, so there would be a automatic estimation will come. So they're saying for the first month, the estimation is zero. Okay. But as you are a consultant, you know this zero is not possible. In a month, at least two unit is should consume. Okay. And you try to save this. But it is still not allowing you. So what you do, you put like release without correction. Okay. Once you press this, the system is forcefully allow to correct this one. So go to correct. So the read, meter reading already uh, uh, plausible meter reading is already corrected. So that's how it is not possible to correct again. So save this. So your meter reading is entered. Now go to your installation, refresh it. So you can see it is now billable. Yeah. So, so today what we learn, today we learn how to do a move in, how to do a move out, how to do reverse move in, how to do reverse move out, how to create the device, how to install the device, what is the technical installation, what is the billing relevant installation, full installation, then how to create the meter reading order, how to enter the meter reading data, and how to create the parameter record portion MRU and do the scheduling for them. All right.